Michigan by the Bottle. I'm Shannon Casey. And I'm Courtney Casey. We go back down to Lake Michigan Shore, and we are tasting a Braganini Reserve from St. Julian, a 2009 Merlot. Yep. And as we mentioned on the previous podcast involving a Braganini Reserve, mm -hmm. this is their, like, more uh, uh, elite line of yep. wines that are only available in the tasting room, I believe. Correct? Tasting room online. Oh, online and too. Yeah, okay. and, although I did see the... Um, David Braganini in a local Costco uh, oh, yeah. a couple bottles. So <laughs> We should show off our bottle that he signed for Michigan by the Bottle. Yeah. That was pretty cool. <laughs> we'll do that for sure. Yeah, autograph from David Braganini. <laughs> so 2009 Merlot. This is a Lake Michigan Shore Appalachian, so everything is Michigan grown down there. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely getting... It's very smoky. Okay. You getting that? I am. I'm getting allspice. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know what allspice um, smelled like, except I used it in my turkey brine. For Thanksgiving? Right. Yeah, I was going to say, how the heck do you know what allspice <laughs> smells like? Everybody uh, run to your spice cabinet. I seriously don't know what allspice, Just like allspice this. smells like. Just like this. <laughs> that reminds me of a time we were drinking wine. We were doing a bunch of tastings at um, Mike Pfeiffer of the Wine Monologues mm -hmm. at his house. And his wife, Jennifer, kept running back into the... The kitchen to get spices and different things for us yeah. to sn sniff so we could describe better. Yeah, it was enlightening. We need her to come here and be on the podcast. <laughs> she lives in China now, but... So, I don't know about allspice, but definitely I'm getting some smoky. And in the taste, I think it's it's definitely got the smoked pepperoni type mm -hmm. taste going on. What do you think? Yeah, I get like blackberries, dark cherries, but and definitely a lot of oak. Mm -hmm. um, some vanilla from the oak, but it's really like... Silky, like I, I, the texture when when, when you drink it down, it's incredibly smooth and silky. That is, that's really interesting. I would have never thought to distinguish that, but I'm, I'm swallowing as you were saying that. I'm like, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And it's it's funny because we just poured this a few minutes ago. I took a sip, and I took a sip just a second ago, and it's definitely changed over just having a little bit of you know extra time to air. I sure. feel like there's a little bit less of the meaty taste and more it, of the fruit. Yeah, and we didn't do it with this wine, but typically pretty much any red wines that we drink, we run them through like an aerator um, or we decant them, whether they need it or not. It just mm -hmm. usually opens them up a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So that really kind of brings out some of the fruit. In yeah, it. I definitely am getting more fruit on it than, than smoky pepperoni, which is the dominant flavor I was getting a few minutes yeah. ago. There's so. definitely a lot of oak, um, good tannins in it, so I think it would age well. Mm -hmm. it, it's an easy drinking, nice dry red wine. You know? I'm pretty fussy about Merlot, but I dig yeah. this. I dig it. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, um, make sure you check out the Braganini Reserve line at St. Julian, and make sure that you keep checking out michiganbythebottle.com, where we're supporting the state with every sip. Supporting the state with every sip. Is that right? Yeah! <laughs> you left the G off. Oh.